um, it was an exciting game. You know, it was a, it was a great atmosphere, um, and we just came up a little short. Uh, you know, had some plays there that we should have made to be able to come up with a win. But, um, but you know, I've really had two great uh, experiences right. there so far. So uh, looking to make this one the best of them all. Is it odd that that was Joe Pa's last game? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think you didn't know that, uh, at the time, obviously. Yeah, he had no idea, and then uh, really, you know, they had that bye week the next week, and everything breaks out about a week and a half after we play. Um, and yeah, who would have thought? I mean, it's one of those things you never know, you know, the magnitude of the games you're playing in until you know, probably, you know, with that one, you, you knew kind of directly after, uh, you know, everything kind of blew up. Um, you know, but yeah, looking back on it now and, and in years to come, I mean, it, you know, saying you were. Playing against Joe Paterno in the last game that he coached um, is something that you know uh, only a select few can say. So, yeah, cool. I know uh, Miles beating John and two kids so was a big deal. Were you there for that at all? Yeah, I was there. Um, I actually had lost to both of them <laughs> earlier, um, but uh, but yeah, no, it was a big deal, uh, especially because John felt like he had momentum rolling. Um, you know, but Miles really. Uh, kind of annihilated the whole team that day and um, those guys go back and forth on stuff like that I feel like all the time whether it's 2K whether it's NCAA uh, you know I, I think they they compete about uh, on just about everything what's it like seeing John have the you know kind of bounce back from some you know the knee issues he had last year oh yeah it's been great I mean I think he's just uh, you know there's a lot to say about him the type of player he is um, he, he adds so much to the offense and you know, he's a guy that I think I'm just I'm anxious to just watch him grow. Uh, it's been fun watching his career uh, so far, and I think you know he's one of those guys, um, you know, really at the next level that will be dangerous because he, he's able to do so much. He, he can, you know, play as a down tight end. He can play as a um, a, a receiver in the slot. He can play as a running back. He can play as a fullback. So you know, when you have a guy. Um, you know, it, it sounds like a, a guy that the Patriots should draft, in all honesty. But you know, that, that's the type of guy he is, just able to do a whole lot. How uh, would the team bounce back from, from a loss like that? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think the biggest thing that, that we can do is, is come back and, and go to work and, and refocus. Um, you know, I don't think it's necessarily all about, uh, you know, we knew we kind of didn't, uh, didn't do what we needed to do in any phase. Uh, you know, you can't really look back and say if we would have done this one thing or, or this thing, uh, things would have been different because there was there was a whole lot that needed to be fixed. You know, for, for that to go well, and um, you know, what, what you got to realize, and I think being an older guy, kind of having this perspective, is that um, you know, no, the last game, you know, doesn't matter at all. Whether it's a win, whether it's a loss, uh, you got to be able to refocus and go into this next game, especially when you get into conference play, because you're going to realize that. And, you know, things can go, you know, really well one week. Things can go really bad one week for, for all kinds of different teams. And, and the teams that are able to refocus and, and get things going are the teams that ultimately are, are going to be successful. Spencer's had 10 catches the last two weeks. Um, what has he done differently, if anything, or is it just a matter of him coming into his own at this point? Yeah, I think it is. Um, you know, he, he's not a guy that, um, I guess, you know, does a whole lot different. Uh, the thing that you like about him is that he's consistent. He, he comes to work every day with his hard hat on, ready to go. Uh, he knows what he's doing out there. Um, you know, he's able to help um, really everyone around him out. And uh, you know, he's a guy that doesn't complain when, when you know he might not be getting as many balls, and um, you know, doesn't you know do anything. I guess on the opposite end, when he is catching a lot of balls, he, he's going to come to work and, and do the things that he's, he's expected every day. And, I think that's what's um, you know made him the receiver he is. What do you think of his beard? Uh, I mean, it's you know for a guy that I, I was I guess admire beard since I'm not really able to grow one <laughs> yet. Um, you know, but uh, it, it's getting to the point where it's getting you know past uh, it's getting to the grimy stage uh, of things. But you know, that's uh, you know that, that's what he was going for this season, and he's definitely got it rolling now. <laughs> They could a win, maybe turn the program around. Does it have that potential on Saturday? I don't know about turn the program around. Um, you know, I, I think uh, a win. You know, we're pretty much. I think for us as seniors, we're, we're pretty much focused on on this season and, and what it can do for us. Yeah, obviously a win would be a, a big thing for us and and would give us some kind of foundation to, to start building on. Um, you know, but but I think. 
we're not looking at any big scope of, of you know, what this can do for um, the program or what can, this can do for years down the road. What we're looking at it is, is what this can do for our week, um, you know, and, and it would be capping off a, a, a big week for us. We have to have a great week of preparation to, to be able to go out there and be successful. And, and I think moving forward, um, you know, it would be huge to get a big road win like this. What's it going to be like to be home Jeremy Thompson? Uh, <laughs> should be pretty exciting. We'll, we'll see how it turns out. Um, I think – my wife is probably a little more nervous than I am. Uh, she's saying that we can't watch it the first time in the same room just so she can, for whatever reason, so she can get uh, any of her anxious feelings out. Um, but, no, nah, they, they do a great job with things. So I'm, you know, honored to be a part of it, honored that they would, you know, choose to kind of share our story. And, um, you know, it, it definitely will, will, uh, will be something cool to look back on. I don't want to ask you, but off the field, how, is, how have you kept that from Distraction. You know, I mean, I've kept it as a family matter, and um, you know, I think, uh, you know, when you're a senior, you, you kind of, I guess, been through the whole gambit. Um, you know, you, you know, there's going to be different distractions, you know, throughout your career. And uh, you know, the best thing that I have is I have a bunch of people in here that uh, are focused on this next game, focused on what we need to do every day. And uh, you know, when you come in here and you're surrounded by by those people, those people that you've been around for for years now. Um, you know, it makes life real easy. Uh, you know, it, it was it was great to get back into the swing of things and kind of get focused on football. Um, you know, so so that's I mean, I think the people I'm surrounded with, it, I'm just lucky to have them. How about Ryan, um, what's what's that been like the last couple of days for you? Yeah, I think that's a a, a reality check. Um, you know, I think as, as seniors, uh, you know, you think about it at times. You know, how the clock is ticking, you know, how at the most um, you know, you're kind of counting down the practice, counting down the games that you have left and, you know, the games that you have left with each other. And, and Lang's a guy that's never missed a game that's been out there you know, ever since I've been out there. Um, and then all of a sudden realizing that, uh, you know, man, that, that was the last snap I, I got to play with one of my best friends. Um, you know, that's a reality check. And, you know, it could have been any of us and it can be any of us. And I think that just – for, for all of us, especially as seniors, you know, we take advantage of the moments that, that we have together. Um, you know, I think when I run out on the field, you know, with the rest of the guys, um, you know, I think even more so, uh, I'll be taking note of, uh, you know, you know, just just the opportunity that we have and making sure we're always taking full advantage of it. That you can't control what other people do, obviously, you know, but how much have you just been able to focus on you and kind of set all the distractions aside the last couple of days? Oh, but it hasn't been bad at all, honestly. Um, you know, that's the great part about being in the thick of the season. Uh, there's a new team that you're preparing for, you know, week to week. And, and, you know, it doesn't matter what's going on. It doesn't matter, um, you know, if you got a huge final exam, if you got, um, you know, stuff going on, you know, with, with uh, you know, for guys with their girlfriends or things like that. You know, Penn State doesn't really care about that. You know, Indiana won't care the next week. So, uh, the great thing that, uh, about that is that you know it gives you a chance to just you know focus in on you know what what you really enjoy and you know it's it's an honor to be able to step out there each week and and I'm going to keep taking advantage of those opportunities.